Today we're going to cover the basic operation of the Tipman Cyclone Loader. Unlike most other force-fed loaders, which are powered by an electric motor, the Cyclone is powered by gas. It can use either compressed air or carbon dioxide. Both are acceptable. Because it's gas operated, that means only one ball is fed at a time into the marker rather than a continually compressed stack of paintballs. To understand how the Cyclone works, we'll study MEF's animation that I have converted over to Flash so that we can go through it step by step. For this demonstration, we'll be using a Tipman A5 to showcase how the air supply is delivered to the loader. If you have an X7 Phenom, the air will be supplied differently, but the function of the Cyclone will remain the same. So let's begin. The user pulls the trigger on the marker, which allows the hammer, linkage arm, and front bolt assembly to move forward. A ball is loaded into the barrel, and the hammer hits the valve pin, releasing air into the marker. It travels in two separate directions. One direction resets the hammer and front bolt assembly. We refer to this as the blowback gas. The other direction propels the ball and powers the cyclone. We refer to this as the propellant gas. It is this gas that powers the cyclone, not the blowback gas that resets the marker. During the air's initial release, the propellant gas turns 90 degrees and again travels in two different directions. One path is around the valve, while the other is through the cyclone and response trigger port, which are located on the sides of the power tube and the receiver body of the marker. If you have an older style marker, there will be one port instead of two. Both operate in the same manner. Air travels through these ports, enters the first banjo, travels through the macro line cylinder hose, and through the second banjo. It now enters the feeder cylinder until it comes into contact with the cylinder piston's cup seal. The air pushes on this cylinder piston and in turn compresses the cylinder spring. The cylinder piston is connected by a pin to the ratchet and it causes the ratchet to rotate. The feeder axle remains stationary in the middle of the ratchet due to the feeder ratchet spring pushing on the tooth of the axle. The ratchet slides around this tooth until it snaps into place behind it. At this point a ball has already fired and the hammer, linkage arm, and front bolt assembly is moving backwards. This action causes the valve pin to close off air supplied to the marker and to the cyclone. Air left over in the feeder cylinder begins to evacuate, causing the cylinder spring to push the cylinder piston. The piston pulls on the ratchet and in turn rotates the feeder axle. It's this rotation that causes the cyclone sprockets, commonly referred to as paddles, to spin and load the next ball into the chamber of the marker. The axle rotates until the feeder ratchet spring snaps into place behind the next tooth. The cyclone has now completed its cycle and is ready for the next shot. If you need further explanation of how a Tipman A5 works, see my other video so that it may assist you in understanding some of the terminology and mechanics used in this animation. Hopefully this video helps explain the operation of the Cyclone and will assist you in troubleshooting, maintenance, and upgrades. Stay tuned for future videos and thanks for watching.